So when I was a kid, I used to love listening to prank calls. And what some of these people would do is take clips from a famous actor saying things in a movie or in an interview, and then they would play the clips on a phone call and make the person on the call think that it was the actual actor or that it was someone else. So what I'm going to do today is create a soundboard for Arnold Schwarzenegger's, uh, some of his funny clips. All right, so the first thing I'm going to look for is a sprite that looks like a button. So let me see if I can find one, if there's anything that looks like a button. And actually, there's a few that I like, uh, but it's not exactly the type of button I was looking for. But we'll click on this one. We'll use this one. And this will be our good morning sprite. So let me get rid of the cat sprite because we're not going to be using him today. And for this button, I actually want to have the text underneath it. So I'm going to go into the costumes tab and edit this a little bit. We're going to drag in some text and we're going to type in good morning. So that is what this sprite is going to do or it's going to look like. And then we have to create the functionality for what it's actually going to do. All right. So there is my sprite for good morning. Uh, let's create another one in the paint editor. I did want to show how to how to create a sprite from scratch using a rectangle. So I'm going to select the rectangle. Let's do, uh, let's make it orange. Orange seems pretty good. So we are going to create that orange sprite. We're going to center it and then we're going to add some text on top. And so this one, oops, let's change the color. So let me change the saturation all the way to zero so that it's just white. And this one will, will, have the text how are you written on top so I have two different sprites on my stage right now let me create another one uh, but before I do let me actually name this how are you so that's the sprite or the sprite name for button one I'm gonna rename this to good morning because I want it to be uh, evident or obvious what this sprite is uh, is doing um, so let me paint another one, but this one's just going to be plain text. So good morning. How are you? Uh, let's say, let's see, what else? What, what else does he say? Um, ask you questions. And I just typed in ask you questions, but you can't really see it because I didn't select a good color. So let me just, uh, let me just modify the brightness a little bit. Let's center the sprite. And there we go ask questions and this is going to be my third sprite I'm gonna drag that down here and lastly I'm going to uh, let me use another button one of the built-in buttons uh, let's do this one button two I kind of like the look of that and this one is going to be a very funny one we're gonna we're just gonna name this one daddy and we are going to go into costumes and add some text. So let's um, let's add text to this. Uh, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to center the text. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty good. So we have our four sounds or sound effects or sprites that are going to determine the, the sound effect that it's going to play. Um, I, they're all different, that, so you get a, a kind of like a look at like how you can make these sprites um, in whatever way you want. You could even you know draw your own sprite or make it look a little bit different. Um, oh yeah, okay. So let's uh, let's start adding these sounds. So what you'll have to do is add a sound to each sprite based on what you want it to say. So I'm going to import the sounds. I already went to a website where I was able to download the MP3 of the actual sound. If you can't do that, you could record your own sound um, or by going over here to the bottom left and selecting record, or you can import an MP3 and that's what I'm going to do. So for Arnold, I have uh, these four MP3s and I'm going to import um, good morning on this one. So now the, the Arnold sprite has good morning um, available to it in the code. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if we go back to the code tab, um, what we can do is look in the sound palette and see that good morning is in there. And good morning is available only to this sprite. 
So what I want to do is make sure that this sprite plays Good Morning when it's clicked. So I'm going to grab the, when this sprite is clicked from the events palette and we are going to play Good Morning until done. If, for example, you saw that it was uh, playing a different sound or the sound was wrong, you can go into the input and change it to Good Morning because that was the name of the MP3 that I selected. We're going to do the same thing for How Are You and the rest of the sprites. So let me go over to the sound palette. Let me import or upload the sound that I want. So this one is How Are You. Let me open that. And there we go. It's imported. So now it's available in the code for this sprite. So same idea. We're going to look at the event or when this sprite is clicked. Let me just expand that a little bit. When this sprite is clicked, we are going to play the sound. How are you until done? Uh, same thing when we do ask you questions. Let me upload the sound a bunch of questions, and that is my sound that I want to use. And we're going to go back to the code. When this sprite is clicked, we want to play the sound, bunch of questions until done. Okay, and lastly, uh, for daddy, we're going to go into the sounds tab. We are going to upload who is your daddy. And in our code, we now have that available in the play sound block. And so we are going to play that sound when the sprite is clicked. So we uh, each each sprite only has the sounds that were imported to that sprite. So you'll notice that for this sprite, I can't add the good morning sound because I, I uploaded the good morning sound only to the good morning sprite. OK, and so now the moment of truth is uh, is actually clicking on these sprites. So let's click on this first one. Good morning. And he, he says the sound. He says, good morning. And then, how are you? How are you? I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. And then lastly, the, the follow up to that, when someone says, uh, who is this? Who is your daddy and what does he do? OK, and that is how you make a soundboard for Arnold Schwarzenegger. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, <laughs> Don't, don't go too crazy doing prank calls. I would not recommend that you do that. But this is just one way that you can create a soundboard in Scratch, and I wanted to show it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.